I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and in this video, we'll talk about the Aerovator. The Aerovator is an advanced aeration tool that offers significant advantages over normal aeration equipment. The vast majority of aeration equipment either just punctures the ground or punctures it and pulls material out, whereas the Aerovator relies on vibration. Each cluster of spikes on the Aerovator has an eccentric mounting point to the main shaft. So as you drive along, each spike enters the ground and then it shakes side to side to create that vibration. The vibration works better the drier it gets, but you can still use it in normal spring or fall times where the ground is saturated. One of the most dramatic differences between this style of aeration and others is that when you're done, there are no cores left over. The Aerovator has a working width of 60 inches. It has 144 individually replaceable solid steel tines. It also creates holes at a rate of nine per square foot and up to a depth of 2.75 inches. Optional accessories for the Aerovator include a seed box and a rear roller kit. The seed box has a 2.5 cubic foot capacity. The seed is dispersed from the hopper by the seed roller, which is driven by an electric motor. This allows for single pass aeration and overseeding to get the job done faster. The roller amplifies the Aerovator's ability to be used more frequently because as it passes over the holes, it helps to seal the very top of them up so that the impact on the very top of the surface is as minimal as possible. This helps ensure that foot traffic doesn't notice the aeration as much, especially if it's been done right before an event. If being used without the seed box, the Aerovator has the ability to add an additional eight Ventrac weights to the top of it, which help penetrate dry and hard ground. The additional seed box is very simple. It bolts onto the top of the Aerovator frame and then you can open these latches, flip the lid up, and fill your compartments. This lever opens and closes the gate. So it's closed now. Move it to the right, it's open. And then this setting right here, if you take it loose and adjust it, will change where this lever opens to. In the manual, we have several pages of application rates for different types of grass seed that you can refer to to get a baseline setting. When attaching the aerovator, there are a couple things to make sure of so that you get it correct. This stand needs to be down so that the hitch arms are in the right place to be able to match up with the tractor. Also, make sure the clutch handle, which is located here, is pinned in the furthest position back. This will allow the hitch arms to slide into the attachment. During use of the aerovator, you remove this pin and allow the lever to float. This allows the clutch to engage and move the tines. You can put the pin in this holding position here. The clutch on this attachment is a very important part of the operation because it allows the tines to remain still until they're put into the ground. This means that you can keep the PTO on and just lift the attachment up and out of the ground when you need to without having to disengage and engage the PTO over and over again. This also prevents the tines from spinning until you get them in the ground where they actually need to vibrate. This aerovator also has the optional roller kit installed on it. So you can see this bracket right here has multiple mounting holes. This allows you to select the height of the roller, which effectively makes a difference on how deep the tines go into the ground. Operating the aerovator is quite simple. The PTO will be engaged and the attachment will be in float and then you can drive around the property as needed. Operating the seed box, if you have it on the aerovator, is done with this switch. It's important to be in weight transfer setting zero when using the aerovator because if you have any weight transfer engaged, it won't allow the clutch to properly engage the tines in the ground. When you do a sharp turn, Make sure to lift the attachment out of the ground before you do it. Also, the speed that you travel at greatly affects the results of the aerovator. The slower you go, the larger the holes and greater the impact will be. 
The aerovator is an essential tool for taking care of sports fields or any other heavily trafficked green spaces. It extends aeration opportunities and gives users the ability to take care of their grounds in the best possible way all season long. And just like all of the other Ventrac attachments, because it's on this tractor, it has the ability to be used on hills, in wetter conditions, or in places other machinery just can't go. Thanks for watching this video on the Ventrac Aerovator. For more information on this and other attachments, visit our website at ventrac.com or call a local dealer for a demo.